Can I, can I now address the court? I think we, we've come to the end of uh, our proceedings today. Uh, we will deliver a ruling tomorrow. <laughs> My Lord, you said you'd allow me to talk. Uh, Dr. Kamura, the problem is I don't know whether you are talking as a respondent because you had spoken earlier. Is there something else you want to add? My Lord, may I say this with tremendous respect to the court? <laughs> The, mo the matter we are dealing with is under Article 145 and uh, under Article 150 of the Constitution. We need to approach this matter very broadly, not to be tied by rules or for practices, civil procedure, or what and so on at all. We are dealing with a delicate matter, touching on the security of the country. And if I may say so, I'm, say, I'm going to say so, Your Honor, with tremendous respect. You need the best legal minds and the best experienced people to address you on this matter. It would be wrong to stop me from addressing you on this matter. This is the first time we are having a matter to do with impeachment. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, my lord. Thank you very much. My lord, speaking on my own, and I believe I'm speaking also on behalf of the Kituo uh, Sharia, we respect our judges. I respect our judges. I have, I have been very privileged in my entire life I was spent it saying, may it please your honor, may it please your lordship. I've interacted with the judges, both at my home, <laughs> eaten with them. They have invited me to their homes and so on. And I had the privilege of work, working as a judicial officer, as a resident magistrate in the colonial days. And I had the privilege, rare privilege, of even marrying from judiciary. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, no, this is people serving us as a judicial officers are decent people. We may have some isolated cases of some people who are not what we think they should be, but the people in the whole serving the judiciary are decent people. And as a matter of fact, I've said it elsewhere, very loudly too, Kenya is what it is now because of the judiciary. Without, Kenya, without the judiciary, you would have something quite different in the country. <coughs> judiciary has saved the Kenya, has built the Kenya. We enjoy respect that we enjoy in this country because of, or in the world, because of our judiciary. Our legal, our legal authorities by our judges and so on are cited everywhere now including ICJ and so on, they are cited with approval that they are good law and so on. We respect our judiciary. But my lords and my lady, if you look at Article 145, when you're considering Article 145 and Article 150, we have to be extremely careful. We have to be extremely careful. This is a matter touching on security of the country. And we cannot afford just to stick to certain procedural things or such certain evidential things and so on. The court is called upon to look at things very broadly. Very, very broadly. <coughs> what you are saying to your lordships and my lady, very, very respectfully, is that so far as I'm concerned, there's nothing wrong with you, with you at all. But 
there is a significant portion of the Kenyan population who believe that you are not with respect to the right people to sit and hear the case. And I'm saying to you very respectfully, there's nothing wrong. Give us a good opinion, a good judgment on what we have respected to you, and you get out of this case. We do not want protests in the streets. People to come to the streets and say, oh, the judges who are biased, the judges who are biased. We do not want that kind of thing. Some of us are too old to leave this country to go to Uganda or to go to, <laughs> or, or to, go to Zanzibar and what and so on, to stay there. We want to stay here and die here. I have gone through an experience which a number of you have not seen at all. When Amin came into power in Uganda, in Kampala, I saw things that were not, which were not acceptable at all. And I'm saying that, look, let us try as much as possible. <laughs> what, may I say something? With respect to your Do, professor, Dr. Kamuna, and we, ha we will consider what you have said. I think you have submitted yes, okay. and we, uh, we have understood you. You have understood your submission. If you want two or three minutes to, to summarize, oh, yeah. Thank please you. Do you that. always save me, my, my Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> my Lord. He, the professor talked about law. Let me now give him law, which I don't think he knows. <laughs> my, my lords and my lady, I'm asking you to apply a precautionary principle. A precautionary principle is a principle of environmental law. But this principle has now been translated. It is used in matters of security. We, on our part, we invaded Somalia when, when Kibaki was in power because of this precautionary principle. And I'm inviting you very respectfully that you apply that principle, a precautionary principle, when considering the matter under the Article 145 and Article 150. Under Article 145 and one, uh, Article 150, having in mind the security of the country so that we do not have protests in the streets of Nairobi which will destabilize the country and which will put all of us in an embarrassing position. Your Honor, with respect, I'm asking you again, apply that precautionary principle. And when we ask you to get out of this case, we are applying that precautionary principle that we do not want certain evil people in the streets of Nairobi shouting, Hatshepata justice, no, 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 what the part justice. Thank you very much. That's what? It's a threat. Don't, don't threaten us. What is the threat? Precautionary principle is not a threat. Yeah. Can I sit down, my? Yes. I would have liked to go on further. No, no please sit down. <laughs> and uh, may I say with tremendous respect? My Lord, may I say with tremendous respect? I'm very well read. Thank you. <laughs> My Lord, um, your leadership, there's one urgent issue that I would like to draw the attention of this honorable court to before the court rises. Lord, in petition 565, 